Gen 2 Prius. Um, finished the brake actuator install. Everything works good. I drove it around without this cowling. Um, but you're probably watching this video at the beginning. Uh, in which case, to change the brake uh, accumulator or actuator, whatever you want to call it, you basically have to take the windshield wiper assembly off, um, which means this cowling. So the windshield wipers and then this cowling are going to go. That'll give you access to the top end of the inverter, this thing here, and then also the actuator itself, which is down there, kind of below there. Um, this thing comes out really easily. It's just maybe like 10, uh, not even 10, uh, but 10 millimeter bolts, maybe uh, eight of them, something like that. So you can remove that thing, then you end up removing this actuator, or the inverter. You'll do it through three uh, bolts here, those two, and then there's another one down there. And then you're gonna have to disconnect some wires. Um, but if I can do it, so can you. Good luck. This is gonna be really quick because it's already partially disassembled uh, and I'm assembling it. There's the inverter. Here's the um, actuator accumulator uh, assembly. To remove that, you end up removing this whole bracket. It's kind of a wishbone or Y type looking thing. To remove that bracket, you take off this bolt and there's a nut right back here. You'll see it right back there. There's a nut uh, with a bolt sticking out of it. I'll stick my phone down there, see if we can see that. You can barely make it out. Then on the left side of the actuator assembly is another nut on a stud. It's this one right here. If you undo those three pieces of hardware, um, that's the hardware that holds in the actuator assembly. Of course, you also have to take off these. You'll have to disconnect the connector there, uh, this brake fill line. Um, there's some stuff at the top here that needs to come off. Um, you'll figure it out. If you take off the three bolts first, then try to remove the assembly, um, you'll see what's holding it in. Or else, you know, take those three off and then take these off and, and again, you'll see what's holding it. Um, before you can pull the whole thing out, you will need to remove the water pump. There's a little uh, nut or bolt on the bottom side of this. I think it's a, a small bolt. It's on the bottom of uh, this bracket here. So you'll remove that. This whole water pump assembly should come out. Um, that's what I did. I see here there's a bolt holding the mount for this water pump on. Personally, I would remove that first, see if this whole thing will just move to the side for you. It'll be easier uh, to take it in and out. Not totally sure if it will because of the hardware, but try that first. If that doesn't work, then that other method will certainly work. Okay, so here I am again. I'm actually installing the inverter right now, um, but to remove it, uh, you'll do the same thing. So I'm just gonna talk about how to remove this. Basically, to remove the inverter, you'll remove a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt at this end. Right there, you can see the empty hole. You also have to remove these connectors. You have to remove these connectors. You should disconnect the battery before doing this, and I also checked the voltage there, um, and I wore heavy-duty PVC gloves because I'm paranoid. Um, there's also a couple connectors down here. Um, you'll figure out which ones you have to remove. So if you start removing the bolts first, and then these heavy-duty orange connectors, um, then you'll figure out what other connectors, like that, and uh, this hose, you have to remove that too. It's the inverter coolant. Um, you can kind of see the elbow coming out right there. So that, that hose gets disconnected. This plug, um, some other plugs up here. You'll figure it out. Just start with the three bolts.